Nigeria has primarily been a cash-based society. Even though monetary authorities have for long been driving an aggressive cashless policy, cash is still king in Africa's most populous nation. The bulk of trading activity still takes place in cash, and so the propensity for people to hold on to cash has predominantly been high. But the Central Bank of Nigeria now says the amount of physical cash in circulation has skyrocketed and needs to be corrected. For a better perspective, the amount of cash outside the formal system in January is to that $2.6 billion, which was more than double the $1 billion recorded in January 2023. By March this year, it has soared to $2.8 billion, a 130% increase from the previous year. There's a lot of cash now printed by the Central Bank of Nigeria. So that's the one thing that there has to be cash for that cash to be held outside the system. So we've seen an increase in M1, even M2 uh, from the Central Bank of Nigeria. So there's much more liquidity in the system. Number two, you remember last year we had the currency redesign and it, with the back and forth of currency redesign, the failure of the uh, online banking and the, you know, the money transfers. A lot of Nigerians got spooked. So people are keeping just emergency cash in real cash at home. The currency redesign policy last year, which was intended to promote a cashless economy, precipitated an unprecedented scarcity crisis across the country, causing severe economic disruptions and a seeming loss of trust in Nigerian banks. So CBN needs to come up um, and take over this challenge by mopping up this cash from circulation. They just need to come up with a strategy on how to make those people holding this cash to actually bring this cash into the banking system so that inflation can be tamed, corruption can be fought, and also insecurity can be tamed as well. The central bank has been upscaling the mop-up of cash in the country, but with a huge chunk outside the banking system, the policy has not had the kind of effect the Apex Bank wants to see. Analysts have warned that the longer people continue to hold on to cash, the longer the economy will continue to take a beat in. Well, if you don't have cash in the bank, then you don't have cash for long-term financing. If you don't put money in the banks, then the banks don't have that cash to create uh, risk assets to lend to the SMEs and to the multinationals, right? So you have to have that savings rate growing your economy because savings then creates the investments, the long-term investable funds that the, that the financial sector needs. The other issue is that inflation, um, monetary policy that is designed to fight inflation is no longer effective. Because if you raise monetary supply, monetary uh, rate and the cash is outside the banks, then it has very, very limited effect. The high amount of cash outside the banking system is also affecting the country's drive for increased financial inclusion. For now, the Apex Bank has a huge task on its hands to convince cash-loving Nigerians to bring their cash into the formal financial system. Digi Badimasi, CGTN, Lagos, Nigeria.